Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Joshua Boazzi predictably knocks out Daniel Dos Santos in the fourth round. This was a routine win for Joshua Boazzi. Basically, he had it all his own way throughout this fight. And really, it's what we expected. Going into this fight, Daniel Dos Santos was listed as the ninth best light heavyweight in France. So that goes to show what level of opponent Joshua Boazzi was in there with. Nevertheless, though, he got the job done and he secured a brutal knockout victory in the fourth round. In the first round, Joshua Boazzi started really purposefully behind his jab. He was applying pressure, rocking the head back of Daniel Dos Santos with that jab, and also he was finding a couple of decent straight right hands to the body as well, and a couple of hooks to the body. First round, Boazzi was well in control, and uh, Daniel Dos Santos really didn't throw much back. Second round, Boazzi started to up the pressure a little bit, once again stepping in with that hard jab, working the body, and in the second round, Boazzi actually dropped Daniel Dos Santos with a overhand right to the head, like a chopping overhand right. Uh, so Boazzi came forwards, uh, he landed a, a hook to the body and a couple of chopping right hands, and Daniel Dos Santos went down. Dos Santos beat the count and he continued fighting, but round two, once again, Joshua Boazzi well in control. Round three, once again, Boazzi's the aggressor. He's landing the better shots, landing that hard jab, landing some good left hooks to the body. But in round three, Daniel Dos Santos actually tries to throw a few shots back. He actually caught Boazzi coming in with a nice left uppercut and a couple of other shots as well. Also in the third round, uh, Daniel Dos Santos tried to mess around Boazzi. He actually kind of barged him to the, uh, to the floor, which Boazzi didn't really take too kindly with. He had words with uh, Daniel Dos Santos, but in the next round, uh, Boazzi uh, put Daniel Dos Santos to sleep with an overhand right. Basically, he had Dos Santos stationary in the corner, and he set the knockout up pretty well, in my opinion. He kind of... Um, so he had Daniel Dos Santos in the corner. He dipped once, fainted an overhand right, came back up. Then he dipped again and came back over with an overhand right, and that caught Daniel Dos Santos bang on the chin you know, and it knocked him out cold. He was out cold for at least 20, 30 seconds. A, a really good knockout by Joshua Boazzi. But, you know, it's basically what we expected. Um, you know, quite frankly, uh, Daniel Dos Santos is a step backwards uh, in comparison to Boazzi's previous opponent, Marco Kalic. So, after this fight, I think we need a, we, we need a step up from Joshua Boazzi. I think Craig Richards would be ideal. Obviously, he's the British light heavyweight champion. He recently fought Dimitri Bivol, went the distance, actually did quite well, to be honest. So, I think Craig Richards would be an ideal opponent for Joshua Boazzi in his next fight. I think that would be a perfect fight for him. And, um, obviously, this fight was uh, Boazzi's first fight with his new trainer, Virgil Hunter. And, you know, basically, it was the same old... Joshua Boazzi, for the most part. The only difference I, I noticed was that he was throwing an up jab in this fight. I've not really seen Boazzi use that punch in the past, so I'm presuming they've been working on that in the gym. But ultimately, it basically was the same Boazzi as before. And um, yeah, we'll see how this partnership with Virgil Hunter works out. But ultimately, you know, a good knockout win for Joshua Boazzi, but you really can't read too much into it because... Like I say, Daniel De Santos was such a low-level opponent, you can't really take anything away from it, to be honest. But there we go. Boazzi got the job done. It is what it is. I want to see the Craig Richards fight next. I think that fight would be ideal. Anyway, share your thoughts below. It's been your guy Delboy. Peace.